the dark circles are dark and circling. Okay, so look guys, say hi. This is my baby Sprite. He's my baby boy. Okay, he's a 2023 baby. It's not, it's not a steamy series about friends with benefits and more about coping with trauma. Next one, Kin Porsche. So I do kind of know the plot for this. Mafia. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Evelyn. Welcome back, or if this is the first time you're here, welcome. I am basically a brand new person, really. It's been so long that if you don't remember me, don't worry, I'm very emotional. Does that give you kind of an idea of where I'm at? If not, it's all good. You're gonna see it very soon. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back. As you can see, it's a completely new setting. If you guys did watch my newest video where it was a get ready with me for G Idol's concert, then you already know I've moved. I'm living with my partner. I have a little cat who may come and say hi. Oh my God, I'm all over the place because it's been so long. Just as I'm talking, my, my cat will come. Okay, so look guys, say hi. This is my baby Sprite. He's my baby boy. Okay, he's a 2023 baby. Anyways, what are we doing today? So, if you guys did watch my previous video about G Idol's concert and where I've been over the last two and a half years, you know I have not watched any BLs, except I did watch Semantic Error and Bad Buddy. Those two, unfortunately, I did not react to, obviously, because I was taking a indefinite hiatus, but now I'm back. And so I will not be reacting to them. So if you guys ask, I did love the both of them a lot. It was a shame that we didn't get to watch it together, but don't worry, there's so much more that we can do together from this point on. As you guys probably already saw from the title of the video, yes, I'm going to be watching trailers and then giving them kind of a rating out of 10 and seeing whether I'm accurate or not. So this video idea is not original. I watched it first on Dylan is not in trouble. So he does that with a lot of movie trailers. And I thought, you know what? Because I haven't watched anything over the last two and a half years, what's a better way than to just watch trailers, judge them off that, and then give it a ranking and see whether people agree or not. So I asked you guys on Instagram and on Twitter X, what are your, some of your favorite and least favorite dramas or best and worst dramas? I told you guys not to tell me which ones were the best or the worst, just to list them, except Semantic, Aaron, Bad Buddy, because I watched both of them, and make sure that they are listed on my drama list. So then there is a ranking out of 10. I know with Dylan's videos, he'll go on Rotten Tomato to see whether there's a ranking, but with a lot of BLs, and obviously because they're series, there might not always be a ranking on Rotten Tomatoes. So I said, we got to make sure it's on my drama list and you guys came and delivered. So I've gathered a Excel sheet of some dramas that you guys have said. Obviously, I'm not going to be watching all of them in this video. So this might be a multiple part video. So you guys can continue suggesting different dramas in the comments. So because these are purely based off trailers, if I gave it a ranking very low or very high and then obviously there's gonna be discrepancy between what I rank versus what the final rating will be bear with me I obviously didn't watch the drama I might have heard of a couple of them but I didn't watch them I will also guess probably the plot of it all and then give it a rating and you guys can tell me whether I was accurate or not if one of the trailers just stands out to me as something I have to watch I might make a reaction video who knows no promises do not hold me to that we're just gonna be free on this channel from now on okay no barriers no i have to do this i have to do that because i'm a working adult the list is compiled of dramas from all over so there's thai dramas or korean dramas or some i think one or two taiwanese dramas lots of japanese dramas did i already say that no lots of japanese dramas as well so without further ado then let's go on and watch some BL trailers from last two and a half years that you guys have suggested were either very good or very bad. So let's go. To preface all of this and make sure that I'm relatively accurate, I'm actually going to go on my drama list and look at the rankings out of 10. Why do I keep saying rankings is ratings? The ratings out of 10 that people have given for dramas that I have watched. So I have a bit of an idea of where the general public is. So of course, I'm gonna start off with my ride or die together. <laughs> so this was basically what I think most of you will know me for, for the fact that I cried in like basically every episode and I was a bit dramatic, I do have to say. So we can see here that the rating was 
7.8. So it's not that high, but it's not very low either. But to me, obviously, this is one of my favorites. Let's see, okay, people did not enjoy... <laughs> Did not enjoy it overall, huh? That's fine. I enjoyed it. You guys enjoyed it. That's all that matters. You know, these are all opinions, so I'm not gonna get offended, but obviously one of my favorites. So this was okay. Then another one that I obviously love was Thousand Stars. Okay, so Tale of a Thousand Stars, 8.5. This one was higher. Okay, I think this might actually be harder than I thought it was gonna be because people don't seem to agree with what I thought. But yes, I loved this drama so much. So to me, this is also like 10 out of 10, basically. Okay, and then one last drama. What's one that I didn't really like? I don't think there was any that I watched that was really bad. There have been up and down. Mr. Heart, I think was okay. Sorry, that was on my Patreon, I think, because I couldn't post it on YouTube. But there are a lot of videos that are blocked because it was, I think, only on Vicky. So it wasn't allowed. Okay, so this was 7.7. .7. I'm now realizing that there may not be a standard. Mr. Heart, which I thought was a lot worse than Together, is only 0.1 point lower. The first one, which is Bed Friends, which came out this year apparently. Again, you can see I did my work for this. Already straight off the bat, I think this may be very scandalous. Pop straight into it, stop talking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> In a taxi. <laughs> so, straight off the bat. This is looking very scandalous. It's giving me Tarn type, but not Tarn type. You know what I mean? So I think the viewers who like Tarn type will like this kind of drama. But the audio already is not sounding so great to me in terms of the quality of the drama. So I'm going to be critical, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh my lord, this is so scandalous. That's controversial. Oh, that was not a real punch. There was no contact. That's illegal. I just now got that they work in the same office. It's okay, I didn't need to know what he said at the end. That's a long... Okay. Hmm. I do have to say, I don't think it's a very high quality drama in terms of like production, acting. I think it's just like 
the standard, right? And the fact that the trailer didn't give me the feeling like, oh, I have to watch it unless I'm in the mood to, you know, feel hot and bothered. I would give it, this is hard because as you guys saw, Mr. Heart was 7.7 and then together was 7.8. So I would give this maybe a 7. I think it might be higher actually. I think it's a 7. But based on the trailer, it's not giving me the vibe that I really want to watch it. Yeah, and then in terms of the plot, what I think it's about, it kind of thrusted you into it since the beginning, huh? King and Pock? Am I even remembering their names? They work in the same office. I don't know what they do, office workers, you know. You never really know what an office worker does anyways. And then King is courting Pac just to be friends with benefits but then Pac's never been in a relationship so he doesn't really understand how this dynamic works Pac is like I'm gonna break up with you King because I want a proper relationship with feelings because you know love and sex they go hand in hand or whatever his point of view is and then King is like oh actually maybe I do want someone that's a bit more like a relationship type of guy but then their boss or manager or someone a slightly older guy comes in and is like hey I I want to I want to be with Park actually. And he's taking advantage of him. King turns around and is like, actually, yeah, yeah, know what? I want to be in a relationship with Park. I'm sure there are other like drama bits in between, but this is as much as I got from the trailer as I could. So yes, I'm giving it a seven and let's see if I'm right or wrong. So I give it a seven, right? Yeah. Oh God, I was off. 7.8. That's pretty high. I think I have to go higher. Oh, I did not. Who's Pac? Who's Pac? Why did I keep referring to him as Pac? Okay. Oh, God. You are? It's a very private person who has a strong dislike of Casanovas. While King is one. King and Ua work in the same office and are both best friends with Jade. I did not see a girl. They don't like each other, but then for some reason begin to have a particular relation. 7.8. Oh, wow. People really liked it. It could have been a 10 out of 10. I'm just gonna read a couple of reviews. Overall potential, da -da -da, misled viewers. Oh, it's not, it's not a steamy series about friends with benefits and more about coping with trauma. Yeah, you don't get that from the trailer at all. Huh. Oh my God. Content warning, warning, warning. If you guys have ever gone through any sort of, you know, essay or trauma in terms of like relationships or anything, there is gonna be a trigger warning because I think this drama was a lot more deep than I initially thought. So trigger warning. Production values apparently were not good. Okay, so a boring soft cover of porn with questionable acting. Wow, we're off to a flying start today. Okay, so this is 7.8, I thought it was a 7. Have any of you guys watched it? What would you rank it out of 10? And would you recommend it? I think the trailer completely misled people considering what it was actually about. So next one is Blooming. Hello? Hello? Why is there no sound? I loved To My Star, so I have a good feeling about this one. It's gonna be ranked high, I think. Oh, 
고추도 찌질하고 어렸을 때부터 찌질해서 키가 나가서 더 많이 위로 됐어 괜찮을 거야 건강한 거 다음은 시원 This is gonna be ranked higher. I know this is gonna be much higher. I think this is gonna be 8.5 or higher. I don't think the trailer gave much away, to be fair. Obviously, it's a college romance, so Daewon and Shi Won, they're in a class together, probably engineering, because they're all engineering students. No, that's the Thai drama. Korean dramas are a bit different, so I don't know. And they're always paired together for like partner work or something. And it's like fate that they just end up starting to like each other a bit more. One of them is a bit more like aloof, a bit colder, but then the other one's a bit more like, you know, cute, a bit more clumsy. So then he earns his like affection. You know, the typical kind of drama, but this is cute and they're cute. And I think usually these will rank a bit higher because people like the, the simplicity. I and people. I like the simplicity of some of these dramas, like don't give me too much. So I think this will be ranked higher and also it's from the maker of To My Star. The conflict in this drama will be the fact that one of the boys' photos were leaked, so I don't know what kind of photos, whether we're going to Scandalous or maybe there were some other types of photos that were released, but that's kind of the conflict. And maybe he thinks the other guy maybe released them or something like that. That's gonna be the conflict in the drama. We'll see. But I'm predicting 8.5 or higher. Oh. Oh, what? God, I'm bad at this. <laughs> I'm bad at this. 8.1? I thought it was gonna be ranked much higher. Okay, since childhood, Chan Shi Won has realized that only people with good looks will grow to be popular. That's true. And he has made a personal goal to achieve popularity by maintaining a strict personal regime and adopting a pleasant personality. As he starts his first year in college, Chiwon is confident that he will be one of the most popular people on campus. That is until he meets another guy called Hyung Daun, who appears to have also have perfect looks, get straight A's, comes from a rich family, and even has a great personality. That doesn't exist. Chiwon's confidence in himself is shaken as he finds himself crossing paths with Daun time and time again. College life no longer appears as easy as it seems. 8.1 Film students. Okay, I was off. I thought it was gonna be engineering. Film student. Mm, okay. Aren't any grand gestures or declarations. So, okay, the romance is quite uneventful. Okay, I think that affects the score a lot. It seems like people like drama. And this one, I think, may be too simple. Well, let's move on to the next one. I really thought Blue Moon was gonna be ranked higher. I. I'm bad at this. I think we should do four today. Next one is Candy Color Paradox. So the Japanese drama. We are going around Asia today. Another Gaga Ulala drama. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember the names, I'm sorry. God. That that was slow. That was I'm not slow. That was fast. 30 second trailer. So I think <laughs> I don't remember either of their names. Blonde guy and brunette guy, okay? Righteous journalist develops feelings for his cameraman. Which one was a journalist and which one was a cameraman? I'm gonna give this an 8, purely based off of 30 seconds of what I saw. I have no idea what the plot is. So, Raish's journalist develops feelings for his cameraman. I don't know who is the cameraman, who is the journalist. Blonde guy is journalist. And then Brunette is cameraman. And they fall in love. Oh, a marrow paradox. 7.5. God, I'm bad. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Okay, Satoshi is a reporter for the weekly gossip magazine Dash, like the old Kardashian store called Dash. The magazine is a hit among readers, often containing juicy details about the latest celebrity scandals, success, and largely down to so-called stakeout crews, teams of journalists and photographers who follow celebrities in the hope of catching them getting up to no good. One day, the magazine's senior staff decided to reshuffle the stakeout teams and pair Satoshi and the photographer... Oh my lord, Kaburagi? Satoshi secretly resents... Motoha Rukaburagi and thinks, as you can tell, I don't know Japanese, thinks of him as a rival of sorts. For the more, Satoshi prides himself on his writing skills and sense of ethics. Very different. Photographer has poor manners and takes a haphazard approach to work. I feel like the blonde guy is a photographer then. 
to crush, begin their joint assignments, resentful. So enemies to lovers. Enemies to lovers, but nothing new or nothing exciting, I guess. That's what I'm gathering. I'm on a losing streak. I've not been close with any of them. Next one, Kin Porsche. So I do kind of know the plot for this. Mafia. So thing is, I have watched the trailer, but it was a trailer before the official trailer. So like when they were like, it was like the concept trailer of just telling you a little bit about what everything was. I've never actually watched the official trailer or the drama. I just know roughly what it's about. Mafia. Bodyguard. I don't even know which one's Kim, which she one's really Porsche. Did. Oh. There we go. Start again. That didn't sound like Thai. Okay. He's so. That's Porsche. That's hot. I don't condemn violence. Oh, her. Oh yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew he was on this. Why am I shook? Not actors and everything. This is gonna be high. This is an 8.5. This is good. I think I'm gonna watch this. Whether I react to it, hold off, but I'm gonna watch this. Plot wise, obviously, mafia leader Kin sees Porsche as the bartender. I think that's his main day night job initially but then kim was in trouble so then porsche stepped in but then he was like give me some money and then kim was like no problem bro you kind of cute too why what about your work for me and then he works for him as a bodyguard and then is and then porsche ends up being like the head of the bodyguards because he's so good at bodyguarding and then kim is like yeah that's my man's right and then porsche is like yeah that's my man too and then they get together but then there's like obviously conflict and danger and stuff and then sex people outside of their relationship are like "Ooh, is it gonna be worth it it's too dangerous like they're warning both of them mainly porsche maybe like are you sure you want to sleep with the mafia boss and he's like yeah don't you worry about that because i'm gonna be good looking and that's that's my cup of tea and ken is like i'm all for it that's kim porsche how accurate that was i don't know all i know mafia bodyguard so what did i say 8.5 if this is not 8.5 or higher God. 
8.1. I'm not that far off for this one, I think. This is close enough. 8.1. Okay, so let's read the plot. Second son of the Mafia boss, Kin, I'm not gonna read his surname, is fleeing from an enemy when he meets Porsche, an enterprising young bartender. Porsche agrees to help defend Kin from his attackers for a price. Porsche's martial art skills impress and spurred up. Spurred on by his father, Kin seeks to hire Porsche as one of his personal bodyguards. Porsche is opposed and rejects Kin's offer despite his attempts at intimidation. It isn't until Porsche's family home and his ability to care for his brother are threatened that he... acquiesces and moves onto the property. It's not smooth transition into the unorthodox violent John and his relationship with Kin... Oh my god. Vacillates. This plot use some big words between strained and playful when his feelings for kin takes taken on next next turn his work becomes even more high six i thought it'd be higher but then i also thought together was gonna be higher and that was a 7.8 so hmm i highly recommend be prepared for thrilling ride when it was great it was great when it was bad it was really bad oh people were disappointed okay to be fair there was a huge build up to it so yeah okay after episode seven starts to lose itself good scenes good dialogue fantastic acting but they weren't the majority okay obvious problem okay there was a third couple whatever unnecessary connections main couple got together they got really stupid happens when you're in love right so those were four bl trailers of dramas i have not watched yet i did not rate any of them very accurately i think it was close with the close <laughs> The two that stood out to me, obviously Kim Porsche and Blooming. Those would be the two that, if I were to pick out of the four to watch, those would be the two I would watch. But again, I'm not promising a reaction video. It's just based off the trailers that I think those two were the best. I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of format. Obviously, this is something completely brand new to me. I've never done this kind of stuff before, but because I missed two and a half years, I thought, what can we do to kind of squeeze it all into a condensed version of recapping on what I've missed? There might be dramas that you guys haven't even heard of that I'm watching trailers of, so you guys have something to watch as well. I'm sure you guys have watched it all, but you never know. If you enjoyed it, do let me know whether you want more of these. And again, feel free to comment more trailers or other dramas that you want me to watch trailers for. Don't tell me whether they're very good or very bad because obviously that takes the fun out of it. If you were to be like, you know what, I hated Kin Porsche for whatever reason, then that will affect how I rank things because I trust you guys' point of views, of course. I thought that was fun. And if you guys want more of these, do let me know. Or if you want any other ideas of like how I can condense all the last two and a half years into a shorter time span, because obviously I'm not gonna react to all of them. That's gonna be impossible. Do let me know. And obviously I will credit you guys this type of content. It is very, very new for me, not new to the internet. People have done this before, so this is not this is not my original idea. Do let me know whether there's any other types of content you want to see from me. I will be doing vlogs as well because I go to dance classes every week and I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. Maybe like work with me vlogs, that'd be fun as well. Maybe come come get my nails done with me. Just lots of different things. And of course, I'm still going to be doing BL content like this, but just slightly different. Maybe reactions will be coming. Who knows? You guys will just have to wait and see. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram on Twitter or on TikTok, anything like that. I usually like to ask and make polls on Instagram and Twitter. So if you do want to have a bit more of an interaction or maybe sway the way I make videos or any sort of recommendations, follow me on those. That's the easiest way for me to filter things out. Everything is down below, of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my first come back into the BL world after two and a half years. And I hope you guys really look forward to my next one, which who knows what it will be, but I'm going to keep you guys on your tippy toes like XG and I will see you guys next time.